In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the power of the Staub website, specifically the support for multiple shopping lists or shopping carts. Uh, this functionality provides the user the ability to create future ordering lists or recurring order lists, say for seasonal product or upcoming projects. So once you're logged in, you can simply select the My Account Primary Navigation drop-down, then select the My Account drop-down, and from within your administrative areas, you can see the My Shopping Cart link. Select that, and by default, your uh, your single, I guess, default shopping list or shopping cart is selected. We have no products added to it, um, but we know that we want to create a couple of shopping carts or shopping lists for future needs or recurring needs. Uh, one of them will be for the upcoming cooler season. So I will call this remote to start. And I will create a new one for some upcoming projects in the warmer months ahead. By default, the most recently created shopping cart is the one that is active and selected. If you'd like to select a different cart, uh, for the purpose of adding products uh, for ordering immediately, you would just come back into your uh, shopping cart area and then select the cart that you would like to use currently. We'll just go back there and you'll see that I selected that cart and it's highlighted. And there it is, the default cart is currently active because it's highlighted in yellow. <coughs> so, with your default cart active, you can uh, go throughout the checkout process, the ordering process, and products will be shipped off right away. If you have products you would like to uh, essentially store for future ordering or recurring ordering, so you have a lot of common shop accessory items that you order on a regular basis, you can create and make use of the multi-shopping cart system here. So I'm going to add some remote start product and then I'm going to add some outdoor speakers and I'm going to show you the process of, of working with multiple lists at the same time. I'm going to select the remote start list. It will by default take me back to the home page with that list active and I will browse through some home page products. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will add this item. Now I want to add some items to my outdoor audio cart. You can see the one item we just added to the active remote start cart. So I'm going to select and make active the outdoor audio cart. It returns me to my home page. I will browse for some outdoor speakers. I will add those items to my cart. And I will add a pair of these in white. I will add four additional pair in white, rather. I will go back and make my default cart active again. So now I have items in my remote start cart for future use, and I have items in my outdoor audio cart for future use. You can view the cart at any point by selecting the preview icon. This will show you what's in that specific cart. 
You can create new carts. You can merge carts. You can remove carts. You can copy carts. And in this case, we want to activate a cart by selecting this one. And my cart value is returned to zero dollars. It was a thousand and forty because that's what I had in the outdoor audio cart at that particular time. And I can resume my everyday shopping. 